What's up everybody, thanks so much for watching this video. I just wanted to talk you through my new album called Manifest Singularity. I created a little keynote, so I'm gonna be talking through that while I share the slides here. And um, I'll start with the title, Manifest Singularity, what? That's not catchy. Why did you title it this, Ezekiel? I know that's what you're thinking. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. And then we're gonna get into the other elements of the album. So I'll share a little more themes what my intention is, what I drew from, and then hopefully you can listen to some of my music, get caught up, and the album's gonna come out within the next week to 10 days. So um, I'll give you the exact date as soon as I have it. Obviously manifest has many different um, definitions. Manifest can mean anything from a spiritual experience you might be having to, in this case, we're really talking about drawing something into your reality drawing something from your own intention, your own desire, the internal monologue you have, using that to bring something into your experience is what we're talking about, to manifest a person in your life, to manifest a partner that you really love, that really means a lot to you and that is a good partner. You do that by creating that inner world for yourself. But combining that with the singularity, which is a hypothetical point in time at which technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, resulting in unforeseeable changes to human civilization. It's pretty widely agreed that this is going to happen. It's just a matter of when and how well prepared will we be when that happens is the other question. The ability to bring something into your present. But we're combining that with the use of manifest destiny, which was this 19th century view that because we can expand throughout the continent, we should, and it's justified or justifiable. So I do not subscribe to that because we can, we should. But if you look at the advancement of technology, it's the exact same mentality. Moore's law is a great example of this, which is a law that says the power of processors will double every year as the size of those processors gets cut in half. And we've seen that happen exactly. So. If we stay on track, that means that at some point in our lifetimes, within the next the next few years to the next several years, we will experience this moment where technology breaks away from our control. The question is what's gonna happen? But that's not the question of the album, but that is the way I wanted to invoke the title. I hope that makes sense to you. So we're talking about the singularity, this technological time when technology becomes out of human control. We're talking about that being advanced, um, but then I want to tell a little love story right within that world. And that's what brings me to my next point. So, um, with that in mind, Neuralnet, the Elon Musk company, doing incredible work creating an opportunity for or our output to be as high as our input. Currently, we can receive a lot of information, but we really can't send that much information back. So, what he's doing is creating a neural lace which is a way to connect a third tertiary layer to your brain that will allow you to interface with the internet at a much, much higher rate. One that could possibly rival that of AI, which is really the in purpose. If you think about it for recreation, it makes no sense, but only when you connect these two dots do you see, oh my goodness, that's actually really gonna be controversial and necessary and interesting and I mean, I'm in, for example, you know. I think that's so important for you to be able to compete at that level. We're already almost out of out of the loop. And musically, I wanted to I want it to be very chill. I wanted to invoke some chill hop vibes, very lo-fi, you know, synths, some vinyl scratches. Some of it's trumpet uh, that I'm actually playing. Some of it is um, software, you know, software instrument trumpets. So I wanted to kind of combine the organic with the inorganic and that could maybe serve as a way to help build this sound world. Here's what's happened that I drew on for this album. So I went to a free workshop where I was learning more about how to connect with my fans, be creative, and use the digital tools that we all know and love. And the person who I met just blew me away immediately. We had that kind of meeting where as soon as you say each other's names, you realize you're about to kind of prepare for liftoff. And that's what happened. We talked for about an hour and 10 minutes. 
some about the work, but also just getting to know each other. And there was such a sense of shared experience that she actually verbalized it. Hey, I'd love for us to be friends. I thought that was amazing. Of course, let's do it. So that's what we agreed to. Well, eventually I go and see her and she made us both a drink. We're sitting in the back and it's just an incredible experience where we immediately tapped back into that mindset, that, that vibe, that experience of being excited about getting to know each other. And we talked about some things that we really were terrified by, things that scared us, things that we almost wanted to tell somebody but couldn't have told anybody yet. Anyway, it was beautiful. Then we go to the bar for a show. Guess who meets us there? It's her boyfriend. You can hear this in track eight. Um, and he basically hugged me in this huge way. I was wondering kind of what his intentions were. And I wanted to be as non-judgmental as possible. I wanted to be as open as possible. So the whole time I'm thinking about what is my view? What am I gonna do? And at the end, it became obvious that Basically, their boundary was so undisclosed. There was this huge gray area. And I, out of nowhere, was now brought into the mix, into this gray area. And it didn't actually bother me at all in the moment. I could observe it, but I wasn't upset at all but I could tell they were. So by the, the very end of the night comes and we'd all been talking, and talking to one another, but sitting separately. This is at her place. I thought things were gonna be fine. I thought like, okay, cool. Now we're gonna have to figure out like, who is she gonna be with basically? And as it turns out, she replies, hey, I can't hang out anymore. I can't see you anymore. I can't hang out anymore. I'm like, damn. That really sucks. So it took me a while to unpack that and understand why. I don't even know that she knew why, but after a lot of reflection, um, I think it's something as observable and arguably dismissible as what we're talking about here, an operating system being stuck on a boot loop, two devices, two people on the same system the whole system updated, but these two people are still there. When one updates, boom, they're out of the loop. And I think it was just a very short term ding on the same software, on the same frequency, a boundary failure. Um, and that's where I was caught in the middle. But I learned a lot. I'm grateful for the experience. And I hope that sharing this only helps others navigate with confidence and integrity because nothing happened that I was, I didn't do anything wrong whatsoever. I was so open, so clear the whole time. Um, it didn't work out, but that's nothing to, to be bummed about. So um, I hope you'll check out the album. Thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about the album. Please tell me your favorite song, favorite track, um, and I'll see you on the internet.